Now in the previous lessons we've talked about how you can search by text, search by visual similarity, search by object, search by untagged items, search by star ratings, find hidden files, um, use smart albums, maybe keyword tags. So there are uh, notes you can add to your, your, your photos. So there are many ways that you can find the photo that you need. But I want to show you two more ways that Photoshop Elements provides you. One is a nice call to timeline. So you would click on Windows, Timeline, or Shortcut, Control L, and it will present a timeline up here. And what you do is just move this little computer looking screen icon, and this will, will move to the next folder because I have this in folder view. And we'll show you the photos within that folder. You can reduce the view by clicking this and this. And that's nice. I mean, that's go back to chapter three, for example. That's a nice way to quickly find photos. Um, but there is one more way. So window, timeline to hide it. Go over to the display icon and then click on date view. And this, this will present you in a month day or year format as indicated on the bottom here. Just click on year. And if you're in a year format, anything that's colored blue shows you that you have photos on that day. So for example, you can see that in May and June I had two days and I guess July, August I took some time off. Um, this is in 2010, so if I wanted to look at 2011, I would click this arrow for the next year. And you can see there's a lot more activity in 2011 and also a lot more activity in 2012. You can click on the month, which will show you a smaller preview, and it should give you a thumbnail of the photos I took. If you didn't want to look at January, you can click on January and select the month that you want. And you can even select the year, so you can go back to 2010 if you wanted. When you click this right arrow, it will go through the month of 2010 until you get to 2011. Let's go back and select 2012 for March and select March 2012, let's select the 30th. And you notice over here on the right it says March 30th, 2012. I could even search through the different, um, the next day, excuse me. It tells me I have 1 to 47 photos on that day and I can right click, or not right click, excuse me, and click on the next picture, next picture, or I can click the play button which will give me a nice little slideshow quickly. See, it does it for you automatically which is nice click the pause button. You can add notes to each of those photos if you want to, which is really nice. You can even um, you can even go to the day view. When you click on the day view, it shows you a, uh, a bigger photo and it shows you a film strip on the side which you can scroll through, which is nice. And again, you can move through each one. And it tells you right here 12 or 47. And let's say, for example, that I like this photo, and I want to know where this is in the media browser. And I don't want to look, I don't want to find, I don't want to do all that. I want it to just find it for me. So you just select the photo, and then click this icon right here, the binoculars. And this will find it for you in the media browser for you automatically. Isn't that nice? Right there. That's great. Now, how do you go back to date view? Again, you go to display, date view. Okay. If you wanted to view these photos in full screen, you would click this little icon and it will open up the full screen. You can also add captions at this point. Um, remember, don't forget your Find menu, which um, presents you more options also. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about version sets.